I know because I'm at a higher level in the cosmos, I never judge no teachers here. That's why I don't do that. That's super low frequency. I understand that the ancestors will give you a code that I don't have. They'll give me a code you don't have. But long as I see you trying to spread a message about this is our land, and you trying to help our people, you're doing the right thing. It don't matter. You don't have to say exactly what I'm saying. You can never say it, and I can never say it. Because the ancestors give us different codes, y'all. We are being programmed with information through our genetics, man. You could go to your ancestors and make ancestor authors and ask your ancestors, your physical ancestors, to help you, and they will. That's how powerful you are. You got physical ancestors. You got spiritual ancestors. We are, we are the celestials that they talked about in Eternals, man. Because when you talk about Eternals, they telling you it's more than 5,000 worlds. What the fuck do you think they telling you? None of the science fiction is science fiction. None of the characters is made up. When you be seeing all these characters in Star Wars and these movies and shit, and you be like, damn, you don't ever think like, where they get this character from? They don't make these characters up. These characters really exist, man. These are real extraterrestrial beings. Now they want to admit some shit. Because we on their ass. We here now. The truth is out. It's over with. The, whole, the jig is up, guys. The jig is up, guys. Just give it up. See? Now they got. You see? Now they got. That's that pressure. Niggas is on their neck. Just like Apple. Apple tried. Apple going to move my album under my old motherfucking name purposely, knowing that anybody going to really go look up J-E-D-A underscore music. Well, now y'all will, right? You just put the, if y'all want to know, just put only real girl related in. If you got Apple, it's still going to come up just under my old name. But what I'm saying is when they did that, notice Apple shut down. Apple shut down for a little while after they did that shit to my shit. Like, at the end of the day, man, this shit is already over with. It's dropping little by little by little. And in the movie Eternals, right, they basically showed you this. They showed you the beginning. They showed you the war. They showed you how they turned in Eternals. They all had different powers, right? The Eternals. I'm going to pull something up for y'all to see. Babe, go to hit, a, hit click on the movie Eternals. I think it should still come up because I had ordered it last night. Here go, here go the remote. I want y'all to see. I want y'all to see. I want y'all to see how the movie Eternal comes on. Okay? How it comes on. It talks about the beginning in the war. The same thing I've told, told y'all about in this university. Okay. I, that's why I went to the CNN article. Just so you could, because if you don't believe me, okay, CNN says billions of worlds. Now you, you going to believe this shit I got to say about the cosmos? That I got to say about the cosmos? You Will you believe it now? Because they can't, they not going to tell you the detail because they don't even know the shit. They literally sitting in here waiting for me to go live. While still fucking with the lives. You know what I'm saying? Re-rocking shit back to y'all. You feel me? Like, but but what they do know is they know they know they not from here too. They know I'm not lying. That's why they fuck with the lives. But what I'm saying is like, okay, listen, so let me break it down to y'all about reptilians and these Pleiadians I be talking to y'all about. They don't know shit, man. The Pleiadians. And the reptilians don't know shit. Now they are an advanced species. They advanced, they not more advanced than us. You gotta remember, we created them. We created all extraterrestrial races. So remember, the the, re, the reptilians, you got different types of reptilian species. The reptilians that's that's that when we say reptilian and it's out there as a trend, reptilians are bad. All reptilians aren't even bad. Okay. You have a species of reptilian. You have many species of reptilians from the alpha. They are from the, the reptilians. First off, they exist in the alpha draconian star system. OK, alpha draconis is the star system that the draconian reptilians even come from the alpha draconian reptilians. OK, and then you got different types of reptilians. Okay, You got many different types of reptilians, but the bad ones are the big ones with the wings, the big ones with the wings. These are alpha draconian reptilians. I've always told you all that. Now, I need to do a lot. I need to do lectures strictly on these extraterrestrial races. I do. Because I just talk about them. I kind of like skim over them. I've never did an actual lecture strictly about no extraterrestrial race. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So 
that's my bad as a teacher. I'll do that. I haven't did it. Okay. So I'm wrong as a teacher. That's wrong on me. But at the same time, what I'm telling you is you got many different species of reptilians. You know what I'm saying? You got many different species of reptilians. So um, the alpha draconian reptilians, these are the ones that are based mostly here. All right. Now you have a lot of the fallen entities, right? Like these fallen angels, okay? That we call them fallen angels here. But I told you spiritually, or, or, or like they like to hide the name in science, quantumly. Quantumly is the same thing as spiritually. So don't let nobody um, um, scare you, scare you with those words, okay? So. These these reptilians that's invaded this planet, all right, it's a mixture. You got real alpha draconian reptilians, but then you got a lot of the ones that's in charge of the alpha draconian reptilians. They are not, they are not actually alpha draconian reptilians. They are actually fallen gods who have shapeshifted into alpha draconian reptilians, posing as alpha draconian reptilians. Many of the leaders of the alpha draconian reptilians are the fallen gods, and you know who the fallen gods rocking with? Satan, Zeus. OK, when I told you about Zeus, when I told you about Zeus living on, on the coming, living in the sixth universe, having on, on a planet called Nern, that's a real thing. You know, uh, Nern is an actual planet. This is where human, where the human beings was created. So that's a real thing. So you got to remember that story to even understand what they're showing you in Eternals. OK, now with the Eternals, right. With the Eternals. With the Eternals, y'all stay with me. With the Eternals, how many Eternals was it? All right. You had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They showed you 10 Eternals. I just want to count what they showed you. All right. But I want to, I want some, I, some going to stand out to y'all right now. Hold on. Let me pull me something to drink real quick, man. Uh, Something's about to stand out to y'all. Something's about to stand out to y'all. Um, about these eternals in their in their powers, huh? In their powers. Okay, go ahead. Appreciate you. So look. Okay, so amongst these eternals, right? Something gonna stand out to you. They all got. They all have powers, right? But notice the god, the black guy in Eternals. What was his power, y'all? What was his power? The black guy in Eternals. For those who seen it, you know his power. For those who didn't, what's the date on that? Expiration. Okay, cool. Thank you. I just make it show, you know what I'm saying? I know we be having so much in the refrigerator. Okay, so what's the black? What was the black guy power in Eternals, y'all? He was the builder. Pay attention. In Eternals, the black guy was the builder. Okay, he was the builder. Oh, y'all see my salt rock crystal with my African wood, African wood right there. Yeah, we spiritual beings over here. We really living like that. It ain't fake. You don't get to see the hallway, really, but I seen somebody say something. You happen to catch the hall. Yeah, salt rock crystal, good energy. Breathe. You know, clean the air up as much as you can in this bitch. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Good air in here. Damn, they hydrogen. Because, you know, we're going to be breathing oxygen anyway. Turn the atmosphere to hydrogen in this bitch. You hear me? But yeah, <clears throat> the black god, he was the builder. You see? He was the builder. He was the builder. Amongst all the Eternals, it was a black guy that was the builder. He was the builder of everything. He built everything. He even he was the one who was able to get their powers from them to use it to power up the the freeze Tiamat, right? Builder, right? Inventor, right? 
Okay. So that represents us actually. The way they were showing him move the cot that's cosmic gold. So okay, so you have gold that's an actual element, right? That's on our planet. But you also have something called cosmic gold, which exists, is pervasive throughout the entire multiverse. It's called cosmic gold. But you can only tap into this if you are a, if you are a dark matter energy specimen. So this is why in the movie, the things that the Eternals' powers were made from, like even um, what was her name, Angelina Jolie, right? She had the sword. It was made out of cosmic gold. The the when they were shooting, when the other was was shooting, he could shoot he could shoot energy out his fingers. That was cosmic gold, cosmic gold. Okay, the black guy when he would make things come out of thin air, it was. It'd be these gold loops that he can turn into this, 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 that. He was inventing all type of different things. Cosmic gold. You get what I'm saying? Cosmic gold. Now, this cosmic gold is a real thing. All right. And cosmic gold, which scientists know this because they have they have access, they have got their hands on some cosmic gold. And but they can't do nothing with it, right? But the thing is, it's reactive to our neuromelanin and our carbon. So this is why the black guy was showed in Eternals being able to manipulate the cosmic gold to even make portraits and everything. You know, he was inventing all different type of things for the timeline, for the timeline of who? The human beings. OK, so you seen the black guy was the was the inventor that was the, given the inventions or the enhancing, enhancing the human being strength. OK, so the black guy. Right. Then you got. Angelina Jolie. The whole time she was in the movie, right? They tried, they had to keep her under control because Angelina Jolie, she would snap out into these moments where she would start attacking the other Eternals. But the reason she was attacking them was because she knew that what they was programmed to do, they wasn't supposed to be doing. Right? They was doing the complete opposite. So, now, you had the other eternal. He was the guy that was able to use his eyes or his energy to get inside everybody's minds. Because everybody here ain't seen it, so I don't need me saying the eternal's names. I'm just going to tell you their powers. But one of the eternals, he was able to get inside of people's minds and alter their thoughts to do whatever he wanted them to do. Okay? You had, I'll tell you, you had Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. And then Gilgamesh was actually anciently the name of one of the, one of one of us, right? Like that's one of our ancient names, but they try to show Gilgamesh in the Bible as a giant. But in the movie, he was in the movie as one of the Eternals. All right, so Gilgamesh represented the 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 natural core brute strength of the of of when we was in a giant when we was in a giant phase. You feel me? Now the other the other the other uh she was the Asian chick, right? Her ability was like she was able to, she was one of the strongest ones. And the leader was Ajax, right? The leader was Ajax, which was which was who? Another another woman. So I want you to also notice in Eternals, who was the leader of all the Eternals? Feminine energy. Pay attention how esoteric the movie was. Feminine energy was the leader of the Eternals. Okay. Let me know when you find the movie, but you found it. Okay, cool. We got the movie pulled up, so I'm gonna show y'all something. But so in the movie, you got two things going on. You got the Celestials, and then you had the Eternals, okay? And then you had the Deviants. So you got three You got three different things going on here, okay? You got three different things going on here, okay? Deviants, Celestials, Eternals. Check this out. So who was the Celestials in the movie? The, the Celestials were the ones who created the fucking Eternals. Okay? Stay with me. Keyword, created. Keyword, created. The Celestials were the ones that created the Eternals. Now, who was the Eternals? The Eternals was a group of beings that were sent to guard the planet. All right? They really wasn't even sent to guard the planet, to be real with you. The Eternals were sent to to keep the deviants from attacking them because the way they say it when I'm going to show it to you on the screen, the way they said when in the movie was the Celestials were first. All right. 
They creating all these different planets. The Celestials creating all, creating all these different planets. On this certain planet, they they got they got is Earth. All right, so they go to create intelligent life. They want to create intelligent life on Earth. When they went to, when the Celestials went to create and program the planet, they were planet programmers. So the Celestials' job was to pro was to program planets. They even told you in the movie. They say the Celestials what they was doing was this. All right, the human beings was to have, have give off a life force. This the movie, this the story of, Celeste, of, of Eternal, y'all. Listen to this story. The human beings give off life force, okay? The Celestials program seeds into these planets. They program the planet in general, right? But the seeds they program into these planets are other Celestials. When they plant these seeds in these planets, the Celestials, when they plant these seeds in these planets, these seeds eventually grow, but it needs to feed off what? The life force force and power of the humans okay now once it feeds off this life force enough it builds up enough energy and then the celestial is born out of the seed that was planted but once the celestial is born what happens the entire world of planet that the celestial was seeded in gets destroyed because that celestial energy to what is too strong it's too big Okay. 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 Stay with me now. This is the story, right? Now, the deviants started to eat the humans and feed off this intelligent life source. So when the deviants start feeding off the intelligent life life forms, which were the humans, the celestials then sent the eternals. The Eternal's job was to protect the human beings from getting killed by the deviants. Just long enough for the celestial seed that was planted to feed off the energy of the humans. Because if the deviants eat the humans, then that celestial can never be born. Okay? If the deviants eat the human beings, that celestial can never be born. Okay, so the Eternals were created and sent to def to defeat the deviants, so that the, so that they're not eating the humans. So that now it's all these human beings, and all these human beings give life and energy through what through the planet down into that seed that's buried deep into the planet. Now, what was the name of the seed that was buried on Earth in Eternals? Tiamat. Ain't that about, ain't that about a bitch. The name of the seed, okay? And if you've been in here, I've been telling y'all what's the original name of this planet. Planet Kai and what? Tiamat. So why, out of all names that they could have used in a movie, they named the celestial seed Tiamat. And then, now let's, now let's really think about the story. You feel me? So, the celestial beings planted a celestial here on this planet named Tiamat. And Tiamat needs to get enough energy so that it can be born, so that it can rise. What's another word for birth, y'all? Rise. Rise. The energy needs to rise. Stay with me. Stay with me. The energy needs to rise. Okay. Now, so that's for Tiamat to be born. Now, let's think about what happened in the movie. What happened? The, 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 what did the Eternals do? The Eternals who was working for who at first? Who created the Eternals? The Celestials. And then what did the Eternals do? Them bitches turned on the Celestials. See what I'm saying? 
Stay with me. Let's focus on words here. Esoteric meanings of shit. The celestials created the eternals to do a job. So that another celestial, so the other celestials can be born. The celestials created the eternals to do a job so more so that more celestials can be born. And what the celestials do? They will take all that energy and create what? In the movie they told you, the celestials took all the energy from other planets and they would use them to create suns for other planets. And they were actually programmers of the planets. The celestials. Now remember, I told you, you got a multiverse. And inside the multiverse, you got how many universes? Nine. This is what really, this is why nine is the most powerful number. Not just because of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then when you say 10, the numbers repeat. So really nine the highest. No, nine is esoterically the highest because of the enumeration of the our world. You know what I'm saying? You have one major multiverse. Now you got a few other multiverses, a couple, you know, but that's going, that's a whole nother lecture. But just to stay, keep it basic, because to get a little deeper than that, but just to stay for now, what I've been teaching, I've been keeping y'all right here in this multiverse, because just dealing with this multiverse is a lot of shit. So I ain't got to talk about other multiverses, but that'd be like, we're going to stay right here. That's a little too advanced. We still trying to grasp this shit. All right. Now, in the multiverse, you have nine universes in this multiverse. And where planet Kai is located, or Tiamat, is located in the ninth universe. We, the even our headquarter is here in the ninth universe. Sirius X, Xylanthia, and Sirius A and B, and all of that, that's in the 19th galaxy. I'll repeat. Even our headquarter is right here in the ninth universe. The headquarter of the entire multiverse and all the multiverses is right here in the ninth universe. You gotta listen to what I'm saying. You gotta understand me. Feel me? You got y'all gotta understand me. We right here in the ninth universe. You got eight other universes out there though, in this one multiverse. So in this universe, we got 999 galaxies. When you talk about the Milky Way, you talk about one galaxy. When you talk about the Scorpio constellation, Virgo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Cancer, any zodiac sign, those are not constellations. Those are galaxies. So that means the 12 zodiac signs are really the name of what? Galaxies. This is part of your galactic code. Why you act the way you do. Think the way you do. Certain abilities you have. Certain... Connections with certain elements. This is, what you, this is why your zodiac sign is so powerful. Shit is way deeper than some sun sign shit. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a sun sign, moon sign is way deeper than that. Each zodiac sign is the name of a galaxy. You have 999 galaxies in this one universe. So you only know of 12 galaxies. Because every zodiac sign is a galaxy. So I'm saying you only know about 12 galaxies, 13 if you include the Milky Way. Mm, they go to number 13 again. There they go, limiting you to 13. You only know about 12 galaxies, and you didn't even know that the zodiac was galaxies before I told you that. You thought it was just a zodiac sign. Because they don't call them galaxies on Wikipedia. They're going to lie to you in science and tell you that that's not a zodiac sign. That's a constellation, which is a lie. Just like saying that those are stars. Those are not stars. There's no such thing as a fucking star in the cosmos. I'll repeat that for you way in the back. There's no such thing as a star in the cosmos, buddy, back there with the smoothie cap on. Yes, you. Fuck you mean? You just walked in 20 minutes ago. You hear me? There's no such thing as stars or planets that you're looking at when you look in the sky every night. Galaxies and universes and portals. There's no such thing as a shooting star. Doesn't exist. Those are your ancestors traveling in their Macurbas, traveling in certain ships. You see the shit all the time. 
They had to lie to you and tell you that it wasn't what you were seeing because they couldn't stop it. So they just told you it was something different. You get what I'm saying? So why am I saying all that? Why am I? Because we talking about eternals and celestials and that we are the, the celestials represented us in the movie. The celestials represented us. When they told you that the Celestials created the fucking Eternals, yes. Yes, we did. The Eternals represent the 13 families. Okay? The Eternals represent the original 13 families. Okay? All right? Because it's really 10 anyway. They branched off. Two kind of split up into another one to make three. You know what I'm saying? It was 10 motherfucking tribes in the caves. So they talking about the, the, the original 13 families that know all the true esoteric truth about the planet. Right? About the planet. They know the truth. Because remember, the Eternals, they knew what the fuck was going on and still ain't tell the human being shit. The black dude represents the Moors. Helping them. See what I'm saying? That's who the black dude represent in the movie. Because in the beginning, remember, the Moors turned on us. It was black people that turned on black people first. See what I'm saying? Because it was the Moors. Now, the Moors did not want to turn on us in the beginning. No, they did not. But they turned on us because they was put under spells. They were put under spells by human beings after they told human beings about these spells. In the beginning... This is the true cosmic history. These beings came to our planet. Human beings, along with the Pleiadians, came to our planet. They entered this realm through portals in the Caucasus Mountains. All right. We discovered the Pleiadians came and landed, said we come in peace. We started to talk with them. A couple days later, I'm just, just to put it in a time frame for you to understand today, because of course it wasn't no days. But to put it in a time frame for you to understand, a couple of days later, now the Pleiadians talk about we got some cousins in the caves that they want to introduce us to. Some beings that they found that look like us. And we like, y'all ain't find nobody that look like us. Ain't nobody look like us. Y'all ain't, we, who the fuck is y'all talking about? That's how we was looking at these Pleiadians. Now the Pleiadians look like white people you see today. Beautiful white people. Perfect white people. A lot of the Pleiadians walk around the planet and disguise as cover girl models and, and, and athletes. You wouldn't even know a Pleiadian if you seen one. No, you're not. You ain't going to know the difference. They blend in too good. You'll never know unless you know about the cosmos. Then you can spot them out. But the Pleiadians walking all of us. Pleiadians walking all amongst us. Whole families. Whole fam That's what Con the movie Coneheads was about. Coneheads was about the extraterrestrial racial race families that live amongst motherfuckers. And you think it ain't me and you. No, they not. You feel me? Every white person walking around is not a, a fucking human being. You got a lot of white people around here that's Pleiadians. They from a whole different planet, but they look like the human beings. So you think they're human beings. All right. Then you got clones out here. You have clones walking around. There's, there's, and they only, there's out here, you got clones walking around. You got synthetic robots, Mach 5. I'll tell you the exact Mach, because they got five different Machs, a version of robot that they made. All right. You got five versions. They've been making them since the 1940s. But they had Mach 5, or they stopped at Mach 5 because this shit over with now. You got robots, Mach 5 synthetic robots walking around amongst you. You got clones walking amongst you. You got extraterrestrial races living amongst you. And this shit been going on for a long ass time. You just didn't know it. You just didn't know it. That's a fact. That's a fact. You just didn't fucking know it. You know what I'm saying? So when they get to talking all that 5,000 world shit, you might want to tap in a little more to what I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? What do you think these beings existed? I'm telling you about in these 5,000 worlds and potentially billions more that they trying to tell you about now at 11.05 a.m. E.T. in 2022, all these years. Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to admit shit now. You feel me? Don't try to admit shit now to us that we didn't have to figure out for ourselves. Get y'all bitch ass out of here. You feel me? Don't try to come out now like y'all are our friends. No, none of that shit. Nigga like, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Because you still ain't keeping it all the way real with us. You know what I'm saying? Let go. Let, uh, okay, you can start with giving up them books y'all got in the Vatican, under the Vatican. You can start with those. You can start with rolling out the FBI files, like I've been trying to get y'all to do, of what do you have black and Latinos labeled? Because when I say black and Latinos, one race, you still got people emailing me talking about don't, don't attach us to Latinos. 
I had a black person earlier hit me up, one of the guys. I can't, you know what I'm just saying? Just to get a just to get a racial tone on this shit. You feel me? You know, we guys and goddesses, but I gotta get a racial tone on it. Motherfucker email me like, man, don't be don't be linking us with no Latinos. I'm like, come on, man. I didn't get how many lectures since that last time I heard somebody say that. You you must have just caught on yesterday or something. You feel me? Like, I got lecture lectures about this shit of why we won. You feel me? Okay, so you asked the FBI to roll out the files then. You know what I'm saying? Roll out the files, CNN. Roll out them files. You wanna you wanna you wanna admit some shit, admit some shit that we that I haven't already told them or somebody else ain't already told them yet. Like, don't don't try to re-rock it back to us. Like, you feel me? Then come out with movies and shit like the Eternals and Star Wars and, and motherfuckers still out here like lost. You watch a movie, like you can't understand. You don't never listen. Why is it that everybody always knew it was life on other planets? You know why? Because that was your motherfucking soul. Before this live, before the last two years of this awakening moment, because we in the we in the pot, we in the age of Aquarius. So we in the age of information. That's why all this shit is coming out like this. That just go to show you oh no, we really in the age of information. It's a fucking shift for real. It's a shift for real. It's a cosmic shift for real. The collective conscious is waking up. Okay, so but way before then. Way before these last two years, you before the cosmic shift, it was a lot of us that have been woke forever. But the majority is waking up the last two years, and that's cool. We cool with that. We ain't tripping about when you wake up, long as you wake up. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Long as you wake up, don't stay asleep. You feel me? Ain't no time frame on when somebody wake up. Like People need to stop doing that, too. The people that's woke out there that already been woke, and you know you've been on your journey a little longer, man, probably looking, don't turn this shit to no religion, man. Don't do that. We went through that with religion. You have people in religion. That's what divided us. Spirituality don't divide us. It brings us together. Religion divides us. You put seven people from seven different religions in the same room, they're going to get into it. They're going to start scrapping right off top. Like, nigga, I'm Christian. But, like, nigga, you what? Nigga, I'm Muslim, nigga. Oh, well, I'm, I'm Seventh day Adventists, nigga. Are oh, you Seventh day? I'm Jehovah Witness, though. We don't even celebrate holidays, though. What y'all trying to do? Y'all trying to do something? That's how it be in religion. See what I'm saying? Religion divides. You know what I'm saying? It never brought motherfuckers together. Never. Nigga, the Christians and the Muslims was worn forever behind religion. We can't do that in the spiritual with spirituality, y'all. It's about bringing us together. We lifted each other up. You feel me? We ain't looking down because I've, I've known, I've known, I've been on this journey longer, so I'm going to look down. That I got an extra stripe. That ain't what this is about. That's religion. Religion do that. Oh, well, I've been in it a little longer, so I'm a deacon. Well, I've been in it longer, so I'm the pastor, and you've been in it a little... I came in 10 years ago, so I'm the pastor. You came in five years ago, so you the deacon. You just got here yesterday? Oh, shit, you ain't shit. You in the congregation. No, bro. No. We here to help each other remember, you feel me? And, and, and at our essence, we was unified. We never was divided. We never looked down on each other. We was never that. We never disrespected ourselves or each other. We praised one another. We we cosmically loved one another. We built each other up, man. We never, we all this shit was programmed into us. Through this matrix setup so that's what i'm saying like that movie represents us being the celestials we we the celestial beings you feel me we them celestial beings that created the eternals and what did the eternals do in the movie they turned on the celestials yes they did they turned on the celestials man now in the movie they reason seemed like it was good because they were like man we want to protect the humans think about it who did they want to protect the humans here we go. So you telling me we send you to this planet so that this other celestial, one of us, another God can be born. And you're going to get there and, and get on some, oh, well, I want to save them shit, so I'm not going to let the celestial be born. So you got to look at it from the other, the other way around. So I'm not going to let the celestial be born. This is celestial, nigga. Like, we the ones that made y'all bitch ass. We got to be born, nigga. Fuck them humans down there, nigga. We, nigga, we sent you. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, like we sent you to to stand on business with the deviants, cause you know the deviants represent the deviants was still trying to get the humans too, though. But they was fucking up what we was trying to do. The deviants represent like that's like Zeus and them. You know what I'm saying? We always trying to do something the right way, and here they come trying to fuck with us, cause they against us. That's just what they how they move. The fallen angels, the fallen gods, but we still the gods. We on the we on the high frequency side. They on the low frequency side. So the demons represented like Zeus and them. They coming. They trying to. They really only trying to eat the humans so the celestial can't be born either. Remember, the deviants was trying to stop the celestial from being born too. 
the deviant was trying to stop the celestial from being born too. Remember that. So you got the deviant already trying to stop us, another God from being born. And then you got the fucking Eternals who was created to fucking get rid of the other deviants so the Celestial can be born. Turn around and turn on us and stop the Celestial from still being born. Like, nigga, we created y'all bitch ass literally so that y'all can stop the deviants from stopping a Celestial from being born. You bitch motherfuckers get the Earth on some and turn around and now y'all like you know what fuck that i gotta change your heart i want to see the human beings live because because if, if the celestial is born the world is going to die it ain't gonna be no more world so now what world now what was the name of the celestial tmi tmi represents our ancient energy our planet in its organic state that's what tmi represents man Us in our highest state. You feel me? Us in one of our highest states, man. Kai, when she was when she was gorgeous, man. Tiamat is when we had the giant trees, nigga. All the mountains was trees. We was 50 feet to 100 feet. We was blue, red, green. We was doing everything they show you in the fucking Marvel movies and some. We all of that. All of that. That's little shit. Niggas talking about the Hulk. So you telling me we could be like the Hulk, man? That's little shit. Them little niggas to us, man. Them little niggas, man. Like we, the shit we was doing, they ain't never documented, really. Just a smidgen of it. When they talk about us in Greek mythology. See what I'm saying? Norse mythology. You feel me? You know, like, so TMI represent that when we was one with the planet, when we had beautiful big plants, the plants were huge. The trees was huge. Now how big you think the plants was? You think a rose is, is beautiful now? You should have seen a rose then. Because it was way bigger. Vibrant colors. Everything was glowing. I'm talking Avatar. Think Avatar. Remember how they, when they walked through the forest, the whole planet lit up. Yeah, remember who you are out there like real shit. When niggas walk through the forest and the whole planet used to light up, that's a real thing. When we had two suns in the sky, that was TMI. That's us. That's the ancient us. The real us. We was unified. Gorgeous beings. Fuck, I want to rob you for. You create whatever you want to create. I'm creating whatever I want to create. Ain't no laws. Ain't no restriction. Ain't no heaven. Ain't no hell. Ain't no death. Ain't no time. Ain't no age. Wasn't no none of that. Wasn't no money system. None of that. None of the none of the division tactics. Those are all money, ec, social ec, look economics is a division tactic. Politics division tactics. What does economics do? It divides you because you got rich and you got broke, and you got middle class. What does politics do? It divides you because you was either Republican or Democrat. Why we couldn't all be together? What did religion do? It divides you. You either Christian, Muslim, goddamn it, Jehovah Witness, Seventh Day Adventist, Mormon, Catholic, Buddha. You better be something though. But you still divide. What does education do? It divides you. Because the people that, that didn't graduate grammar school, the elementary school, they can look down on motherfuckers that graduated from high school. And motherfuckers that graduated from high school, they feel they smarter than motherfuckers that didn't graduate high school. So they look down on them, like myself. And then motherfuckers that, that cause I dropped out of high school because I, I chose to drop out. But I dropped out. So you got motherfuckers that graduate high school to look down on me and say, well, he he dumb. He only graduated. He, he dropped out of high school and he went back and had to go and get a GED. Then you got motherfuckers that went to college and they look down on the motherfuckers that, that didn't go to college. And then the people that then you got people that, that went to college, but they didn't graduate. So they get looked down on motherfuckers that went to college and actually graduated. And then it's even more divided because you was only a bachelor degree. But fuck that. Well, you got a social degree. But fuck that. The people with the bachelor's looking down on people with the social degree. And the people with the master's degree looking down on the people with the bachelor's degree. And on and on and on. Education, more division. So they've divided on every level. Education, economic, political, social, engineering, all divided. All segregation. You can go to any city in America, any city in the world and know, and, and know when you're in the hood. You shouldn't know that. 
You can tell when you're in the black and Latino area. You can tell when you're in the black area and Latino area. You can tell when you're in the white area, any city. That's called segregation, man. That's social engineering. You look at the black community, nigga. We got currency exchanges, bro. In the white communities, they got banks. In our communities, we got Planned Parenthood on every corner. Meanwhile, in their communities, they figure they're trying to figure out how to have more babies. They get in shops to get the back to have more babies. But in the black and Latino community, they putting Planned Parenthoods and promoting abortion and your shit. Boy, you better remember who the fuck you are out there. Boy, this shit ain't no game. On every motherfucking level, it's division when it comes to us. You feel me? That's all social engineering. This is Earth now. That's how this shit was on Nerve. Because the real name of where they come from is Nerve, and the nickname for that planet is Earth. Just like we had two names. Kai, Tiamat. Nern, Earth. This was Tiamat and Kai, and they bitch ass came and landed and changed this bitch to Earth. And that's exactly how we live in, like fucking Earthlings, like fucking savages and barbarians the, in, 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 in the same way they was living, the same way they live back on Earth. Feel me? So in the fucking movie, when Tiamat needs to be born, that's that Kundalini energy rising, nigga. That's what Tiamat represented in Eternals, nigga. That's what Tiamat represents in Eternals, man. You see what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? And even though we created the Eternals, they turned on us. See what I'm saying? That represented how we created Zeus. Satan. He's one of us originally. What did you talk about? People be like, so Satan was our brother? Yes, nigga. How could you not believe that when you believe the Bible when they told you that he was one of God's prettiest angels? So even if you don't believe my version of cosmic history, you did believe your mom and your grandma version about the Bible because most of y'all never even read the Bible. Meanwhile, I've read and studied the Bible front to back for 10, 15, 15 plus years, right? And you never read the Bible, but I can tell you that that's what it say in the Bible though. You know what I'm saying? So in the movie, when they showing, right? Because yeah, like, like I said, before I get back to the movie, in the Bible, they tell you that Satan was one of God's prettiest angels, man. So when I sit here and tell you, if he was one of God's prettiest angels, do you think the angels are would not be connected to God? So if God created the angels and Zeus was not just an angel, well, Satan was not what they call him in religion, Satan was not just an angel, but one of his most pretty, one of his most powerful. That means he was one of the most highest ranking in the kingdom. And, and that shows because he was able to take a third. Really, he took two thirds. But in the Bible, they say he took a third. He took two thirds. He took a lot of people with him in that war. Right. He was able to hope so many people to go with him and turn against us. Turn against God, right? Why? So that show you the power he had, right? Okay, so when you see the Eternals turning against the Celestials in the Eternal movie, that's what that's kind of representing. You feel me? That that essence of fuck what you sent us to do, we're going to do what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? And now, these Eternals was trying to save the human being race. And even if it meant killing one of us, they were still willing to do it to save the human being race. So that's deep. That's showing you like Tiamat needed to be born. That energy is being and then for them to document it in the movie, they let you know that that energy is rising again. Listen to it in the movie. He said, we plant these seeds, we plant these celestials on every planet. This is what they say in Eternals. The Celestials say we plant these Celestials on other planets and they feed off their intelligent life. They need the, the, the life. They use the life force from the planet. It needs that energy to rise. And once it rise high enough, then the Celestial is ready to be born. That's what they say in the movie, in Eternals. That's what I'm telling y'all about when I say the Kundalini energy rising. Now, so if the Kundalini energy rising, that's the elemental warrior. That energy in us rising, that unity, y'all, that's coming back. So we coming back to Tiamat. Now, in the fucking movie, what did they do to Tiamat as it was being born? As Tiamat was being born. So as that energy is rising, 
again. It's coming out the planet. When it's come, when it comes to its full strength, the planet gets destroyed, right? But they don't mean that literally. They mean all they law, all they ways. They world get destroyed. Remember, the celestial isn't destroyed. He's strengthened. And him strengthening does what to their world? Who world? The human world, nigga. Right. What does it do to their world? It destroys it. So that's why in the movie, they froze our energy, nigga. You just see TMI stuck froze. And then the movie went off like that, like they was the heroes. See what I'm saying? Now, remember, I've been told y'all, now peep game. Remember I told y'all, I said, hey, winner not real. The true name, it's a weapon. The true name of winner is called Sub-Zero Technology. They put ice, they made fake clouds, and then they put ice crystals in the clouds. And then they used these fake 5G towers to turn these, to activate these fake ice crystals in these clouds. I say Antarctica is really the dead bodies of all our ancestors that was frozen. I say, notice when Tia, when Tiamat dies or Planet Kai going to her sleep stasis, which is what they call winter, because they freeze her out. It's not that long. Majority of the seasons is warm. Winter, the only one cold. I said it's called Sub Zero technology. Then I even gave y'all a lecture about what Sub Zero represented against Scorpion in Mortal Kombat on the website. Right? That's why they even call Sub Zero Sub Zero on Mortal Kombat. They're mocking the technology. Now, ice really is our weakness, y'all. Listen, y'all, to hear me closely. The warmer it gets for black and Latino people, the stronger we get. The stronger we get. Hear me closely. The warmer it is, the stronger we get. Now, ask yourself, how strong will we be if it was a thousand degrees outside? Think about that. You don't think you could take a thousand degree heat, do you? <laughs> we are heat, nigga. You are neural. We come from the highest of realms. The cosmos is warm. The higher you go, the hotter it get. Because when something vib vibrating fast, it's rubbing so it gets warmer. That's science. It gets warmer. That's science. The faster the vibration. So, okay. We come, we descended down into these bodies, man. We are heat. We are fire, man. You think you can't take a thousand degrees? Shit. Nigga, it hit a thousand degrees outside, boy. Your ass gonna be around this bitch doing all type of shit you never thought you could do in your fucking life. Trust me on that. You gonna be like blown away. That's why they gotta keep this motherfucker cold. Pay attention. Now do you get the true power winner? And then I've been telling you that, but peep, peep game. They showed you that in the fucking movie. They could have used any element to destroy the celestial. Why ice? Why did they use fire? Why they couldn't hit him with a big ass fireball? When the celestial was being born, why wasn't the answer to hit his ass with a big ass fireball or something? Why wasn't the answer to hit his ass with a tornado or something? Why was the answer to hit his ass with a hurricane or something? What was the answer to stopping the celestial, nigga? They had to freeze him. When the police chasing you, what they say? Freeze! What you do? No! No! This shit real, boy! It's magic! Why you think they tell you freeze? They could use any word in the dictionary. What they do? Freeze! Hands up! Yeah, you freeze, don't you? You think I'm playing about this shit, man? Listen. Our weakness is literally, bro, ice, cold air, bro. That's the only reason it's winter, bro. That's our fucking weakness. 
Look at your planet. Look what it fucking does to the plants. Nigga, they die. Nigga, everything dies when they freeze us. Big ass grizzly bears. He a thousand pounds. Good, good, good hair on him. He don't even want to be outside when it's cold. He go hibernate, nigga. He get the grizzly bear gets sleepy all of a sudden, nigga. That's not natural, man. Then when spring come, the grizzly bear back outside, the squirrels come back out. When the sun come out, we feeling good. We want to go do more. We more active. You know, we want to go get into some shit now. Now compare that to a cloudy day, nigga. You still going to go do some shit, but it ain't that same energy. You got to rouse yourself up. But when the sun out, you want to be something great. When the sun shining, you trying to be great. You hear me? You like, I'm going to be something great today. You feel me? That's how you be. You know what I'm saying? And in the movie, in the movie, this is what I'm telling you. So when you understand, when I'm telling you, Antarctica is literally the dead bodies of our ancestors. Icebergs, when you see big ass icebergs floating through the ocean, them be big ass femur bones from our ancestors and elbows and shoulders. We was giants. And our body parts still be floating around. And they try to iceberg. That's iceberg, glacier. Ain't no such thing. We went to war and they froze us out. You know what I'm saying? And then we start to fall in frequency. So in the movie, when they showing you that, now they trying to show you what they want to do now. That energy rising. Tiamat being born again. Tiamat being born again. That energy got to rise though. Then once the energy rise high enough, what they say, what they say, what the celestial say. Then the celestial is ready to be born. Once the energy rise high enough, it's a breakthrough. It's a it's an immediate shift. That's what's happening now. Energy rise. People becoming more bold with what they feel is toward oppression and everything. You see more unity. Of course, you still got your little shit going on. But man, we 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 are, we a whole different place from what we was ten years ago. You see what I'm saying? As a whole, as a collective, as a collective. Because that celestial finna be born. That Kundalini energy. This is the cosmic, the solar flares. You hear people talking about the solar flares pouring in. Sun blood. Talking about the sun blood. Not that. Oh, that's real. You know what I'm saying? That's because this energy. This energy is being born. And, it, and when it and when it and then when it's fully, when energy fully hit that max, like it's getting there, boom. You feel me? And what's and what's that shift though? It's not physically like some celestial coming out the fucking out the planet. No. What it is is the actual energy. It's us changing the way we look at everything, the way we move, getting back in our Tiamat state. It's Tiamat being born again. But what is Tiamat? Tiamat was never no fucking celest no big robot celestial, right? Tiamat is us. We make up Tiamat. We make up that energy. We make up that moment. Remember I told you, I said in 1950, the ancestors are sending nothing but spiritual assassins to this planet. They weren't planning about getting this planet back in order. Nigga, they start sending their bats from 1950 on back. Every soul born from 1950 on back is an indigo child. If you got neuromelanin, black or Latino, that's a fat indigo children since 1950. We've been coming every decade through the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, on, on, on. Star seeds. Feel me? Got rainbow crystals, got regular crystals here. You got your blue crystals here. 18 and under, these are your new. Y'all call them pandemic now. These are blue crystal babies. You know what I'm saying? This is all the energy that's here to defend the planet. We didn't all been here before. All of us. Why you think I'm telling y'all specifically remember who the fuck y'all are? Because all of y'all been here before too, nigga. You feel me? Obviously, I'm not just talking to a portion of us like, hey, aside y'all, remember who y'all is. You know, you niggas on this, this side of the class, y'all just listen. No. We all been here before. We all signed up for this. And then what had happened was they took a lot of our warriors and started making them fight each other. Remember, in the 50s, it wasn't no game banging. So why would it be game banging in the 90s? These warriors being born. Game banging, they start to the 90s. Niggas, they start selling drugs to the 80s. Pay attention. This shit ain't been going on now. So that's if you put two and two together, you can be like, oh, there were attacks that were sent at us, y'all, to stop Tiamat from being born again, to stop that energy from rising. I told you we start coming in 1950. 1950, nigga, it wasn't no game banging. 
It wasn't no drugs flooding the communities like it is today. It wasn't no homosexuality being forced on us like it is today. It wasn't none of the, this. It wasn't none of this extra shit, TV, all that shit to keep you from yourself. Nigga, we ain't even had, man, I ain't been to a family reunion in years. Can we get back to that? Can we get back to family reunions and motherfucking Sunday dinners around this bitch? Like, that's some real shit. You see what I'm saying? That's some real shit. One of the elderly guys said that shit earlier on Facebook, and I agree. Like, yes. Yes. Like, that's the energy, nigga. Like, can we get back to black love? That's why y'all was going to see me with my wife. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I practice poly uh, polygamy, but it's a, it's a spiritual thing. So it's about moving the correct way with that. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to always see my wife and my tribe with me everywhere I go. Ain't no, I got to go to the studio, so let me leave them behind. That's an excuse. If I got to leave my wife and my kids behind just to go to the studio, I, I'm in the studio on some other shit. Ain't no let me leave my wife and kids behind to go do this video. All oh, my videos high frequency. I want my kids here. I'm not going to do no shit in my video to make me feel like I don't want my kids to see it. I'm not even going to put myself in that position because I know it's other kids watching me too. It ain't just my kids. These are all my kids. You feel me? Like these are all my brothers and sisters in my family. This, this, You know what I'm saying? So it's like Tiamat is being born again, y'all. You feel me? The energy, like TMI being born again, that energy here, that's why, because for, like I say, it wasn't none of this stuff in the 50s, 60s, 70s. It started coming 70s, 80s. And I, right, right, exactly, because they know that each decade was bringing in more powerful warriors. So we're going to turn these warriors against each other. Crips and Bloods ain't started off killing each other. Fuck all that new drill shit promoter. We killing the drill anyway. We on the kill the drill movement. Like, I come from, like, Chicago where the whole drill shit started, so you can't tell me shit about it. You know what I'm saying? We like, we with the kill the drill movement. Fuck all that. The drilling. You know what I'm saying? We with the kill the drill movement because niggas, is, we, you good, we drilling each other. You know what I'm saying? We drilling each other, and I come from where the shit started, so it's like, that name of drill, so it's like, nah, that's why I'm glad I am from that place. So when I do talk on this level, it makes it more cooler to be like, yeah, kill the drill. What the fuck we drilling each other for? What we killing each other for? We drilling each other for? I'm not going to tell you nothing that's going to put you in a position that's going to hurt you cosmically. You feel me? I'm also not going to tell you don't defend yourself. Yeah, defend yourself. If somebody low vibrational coming up trying to hurt you, you got you to gotta, you gotta deport them. You got to deport them. Death ain't real no way. So you got to know that you can deport somebody's soul. That's called deportation because they ass ain't going to do shit but come back or go somewhere else. You feel me? That's it. They ain't going to be gone in the sense that they're eradicated forever. No, that's a lie. You feel me? If somebody trying to come take your life, hurt your family and shit like that, yes. You have you have no choice but to deport they motherfucking soul. I ain't going to tell you to sit there and be like, oh, well, we one, we one cosmic family, so I'm going to let you come in here and do whatever you want to do to me and my family. No, nigga, because if somebody coming like that, I don't care if they white, black, blue, red, green, yellow, God damn it, magenta. Fuck you mean, God damn it, they ass got to go. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the frequency. It's just like with bugs. Like, no lie. It's a spider in my garage right now. I didn't kill them. I don't kill spiders. I don't kill insects. They are supreme beings like myself. I don't hurt animals or insects no more. I understand that. Now, if that's, I didn't let, and that ain't the first time I didn't let a spider go. I done had big ass spiders on my wall and I done been live and people have seen it before. Like, look, y'all, big ass spider that got in the house. I won't even kill him. I'll talk to him to, using telepathy. I'll say, hey, do you, are you are you just passing through? If I let you live, do you promise to not bite me or my or my family? This is how I, I'm talking to a spider te telepathically. You feel me? And he'll be like, no, nah, I ain't on that. I'm just passing through. Because you know what? Bugs get in your house. They just be passing through. And because you don't have a connection to insects no more or animals, you will fear them and you get scared. That's natural. We've been taught to fear them. Sometimes you ain't got to kill them. You'll be surprised. They're they going to get out your house anyway. They just literally passing through your shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't saying if you got roaches. Those are not insects. Those are fucking, fucking, that's like fucking roaches and bed bugs and shit like that. Those are not natural insects. You know what I'm saying? Those are not natural beings. Those beings will literally come from the Caucasus Mountains when the human beings was in the caves. That's the difference. You feel me? Those being those bugs are not natural. Roaches and shit is not natural to the planet. Them are not. We ain't never had them. You know what I'm saying? Like that they they come out of pure filth. It's like a dust mite. Dust mites are born out of pure filth. Them are not natural. Now I'm letting y'all know for real. See, because you need to know that. You need to know that. Like motherfuckers that think them bitches natural. They not natural. Bed bed bugs, roaches, mosquitoes. None of those are natural to our planet. That's not natural to our environment. This shit was created. You know what I'm saying? By them. Mad science is out to hurt us and destroy us. Like when I told y'all about the mosquitoes. Mosquitoes draw so much blood and draw, they created to do that. 
You know what I'm saying? Some of them are created to poison your, your stream, reprogram your genetics through your blood by just like they could drain shit out your blood, mosquitoes can put shit in your blood. And if you know anything about cosmic downloads, that your ancestors send messages through your blood as well. Your spiritual family send messages through your blood as well. So you know what I'm saying? Like you got to understand the, your, your, your realm, your, your, your planet. You, you, you created all this shit. That's why I say understanding that makes, makes, makes Tia might be born again. You feel me? That's making Tia might be born again. But yeah, that's why I didn't kill the spider in my garage. It's in my garage right now. You feel me? I'm like, nah, he in there chilling. I'm like, shit, do you. Is this a dead and it's a daddy long legs? I'm like, you good? Because if any little insects try to pass through the garage to get in the crib and they ain't right, you're gonna get them. So I got free pest control. What you talking about? That's free pest control at the garage right there. I'm cool. It's a little daddy level. He ain't on nothing. He chilling. So why I'm gonna step on him for? Why am I saying that? Because that's how all part of being connected to TMI. That's all part of what I mean when I say the disconnect. We that might sound crazy right now, but if you listen to your elders, your 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 mama's 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 mama talk, they gonna say the same shit I'm saying today. Your ancestors will be holding the same conversation because that's how they used to talk. If some shit, if it's duality and all things. So now, if I walk out there and that spider bite me, I'm stepping on his ass. He over what he gotta go. I'm deporting him. It would be no different than if a, a, a god tried to harm me and my family. I gotta deport you because you ain't your your energy ain't right. That's a difference. I'm being real with y'all. Then that shit did it is deep. If you think about it like yes, like if you see a if you see a bug or you see something like that, you don't try to hurt the animal. You don't try to hurt the animal. You don't do that. Now, but if the animal try to attack you, then you know his spirit. If you not fucking with the listen, real talk. It's duality in all things, as above, so below. Every insect and animal is animating that in this form. That's not the real them. Just like this is not the real you. You're animating this body. So that means that spider has a soul and a spirit. He know what the fuck he doing. If his ass try to bite me, that means he on some bullshit. I ain't on the shit with him, so what you gonna bite me or bite my kids for? Now I gotta get on your ass. But if you know what I'm saying, you gotta treat it like a person. And it's the same thing with people. Like, why? Because you gotta understand something. It's energy. It's an energetic thing. And just like the ancestors start sending a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, yeah, deport. Yeah, that's the correct spiritual word for it. Can't say kill because you can't kill something that can never die. You can't kill nobody with nine with, with carbon in their skin. They got a spirit in the soul. They'll never die. So you can't say, well, I killed them. No, you could deport them to another world. You could deport his ass or her ass to another location. You can make us start, but you can't kill her or kill him. You ain't never do that. You know what I'm saying? They, they ain't they'll never die. So we ain't gonna use that word. I can't say that word. You know what I'm saying? Deport. That's the best thing to do it. Deport. We got deported off the planet. Fucking with the wrong motherfucker. You got your ass deported to Pluto. See? Now you being born as a little Plutonian and shit. Just tell us stop fucking with people. You see what I'm saying? You would have been on Earth a lot longer, but you was down there fucking with people. Now you look up, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You was just on earth chilling, arguing with a motherfucker. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just close your eyes and you wake up. Wah! And now your ass on Pluto. You see what I'm saying? But now you're a Plutonian. You don't even remember what happened on earth, how you got there. You was fucking with a motherfucker on the last planet and they got in the port. And that's how y'all, I'm just I'm for real. Because you would never die. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be born again into a whole other world. It's like, you ain't going to remember that other world. Like, you see what I'm saying? Just like that. Just like that. You feel me? So don't be out here fucking with people like, you know what I'm saying? What if I hear fuck with? I heard you last look up your ass, your ass on Venus, some motherfucker where God damn it. Wah! Look up little Venuvians grabbing you out the little out the coochie. You coming out. See little green feet. How the fuck you get here? I don't know how I got here. I was just on Earth arguing with a motherfucker at Wendy's. Next thing you know, I'm wild. I just see a green dude with a jumpsuit on and I got green feet now. Where am I at? Venus. Oh shit. I should have I should have listened to God. This shit real. You feel me? Yes, it's real. It's other worlds. Nigga, didn't I just hold on? Didn't CNN just confirm some shit, nigga? Didn't they just hit you with <laughs> didn't they just hit you with some confirmation if you didn't, if you thought I was lying all these years? If you thought I was lying more than five, look. Updated 11.05 a.m. E.T. Saturday, March 26, 2022. You see what I'm saying? 
More than 5,000 worlds exist beyond our solar system, nigga. There could be billions more. <laughs> you don't want to end up on, a, on some whole, no whole other planet, you know what I'm saying? Get deported. I'm trying to tell you, because you ain't going to die, but your ass going to go somewhere. You feel me? Told you. I'm real. Shit, nigga. Like, I think your ass ain't going to die, but your ass ain't going to be here, though. You're going to be somewhere. And you might come back here, and you might come back as a little spider in the garage. That's why you can't be stepping on spiders, see? Because then your ass come back here as a spider in the garage, and then karma catch you in the next life, and the motherfucker step on your ass as soon as you set the way above you. Ooh, I found me a good little location. I don't know how I got here. I was just arguing with a motherfucker at Dave and Buster's. All of a sudden, I'm coming out a little egg and shit, but... It's cool. Shit, I found me some little webbing. I'm finna web up. I'm finna, ooh, oh, damn, I can hang upside down and shit. Hold on, I ain't know I can do that. You upside down, you damn well, I got so many legs and shit. I can see a lot of shit. I got a lot, a lot of eyes. Fucking, I'm finna go ahead and I'm hungry to the motherfucker. Let me go ahead and set me a little web up. It's a nigga a little hungry around this bitch. I know something gonna come through this motherfucker. A little fly, a little something. First thing come through, I'm stringing him up. I ain't even gonna play with him. But as soon as you set the web up, nigga come through, step on your ass. You see what I'm saying? Now you wake up. Now you over. Now you are the galaxy three. You see what I'm saying? You wasn't even a spider that long because the lifetime before that, you stepped on a spider. And you didn't even want to listen to me. So now when you did get into that argument, fucking with people, and you got deported, you came back here as a spider. You didn't even go to a different planet. You came back here as a spider. As soon as you set the web up or the wind blow, every time you set your web up, the wind come blow. Knock your shit down. Now you got to start over again. Can you imagine that as a spider? That's fucked up. You got to crawl all the way up. Now for us, that ain't shit. You ever we big. Like, this ain't from the ground to up there ain't shit for us. But if you a little ass spider, you got to crawl from there. You got to crawl across this whole floor, G. Then you got to walk all the way up the wall. You feel me? You put your shit up there. As soon as you put your shit up there, I just come through with the broom in. Damn. Fucking some spider webs in the crib. Hold on. Damn, baby. You say the broom with the broom, man. Because shit, I ain't even. Damn. Oh, okay. Damn, this motherfucker. No, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we be, right? Because when you see it, it always catch it up. You be like, you be chilling, nigga, put nigga a stop, and nigga be smoking a cigarette, motherfucker be. Yeah, I seen the Browns. They let go. They, they talk about they, they talk about they from let Maynard go. God damn it. And we don't got it, nigga. God damn it. I'm steady knocking these motherfuckers down. They steady, steady coming up there. And now it's funny when you got the gun, but see, what if you what if you got your ass deported? Remember, you fuck with that spider in that garage. Now look at your ass. Every time you put the fucking web up, nigga come through and broom your shit. Or even worse, you setting some shit up, nigga come through and motherfucker come through like got a spider on the wall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You be mad now. You you no no no. Wake up. You on Mercury, you know what I'm saying? With the Mercurians. You know the Mercurians, they red as shit. They tall with them little skinny necks. The Mercurians on Mercury. That's a real species. They good people though. Shout out to the Mercurians. They 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 good people. They're a good race. They're good. The Mercurians, they're a good race. That's another lecture though. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all know I ain't lying. I'm telling you, it's it's deep. This lifetime to lifetime, you feel me? I'm telling you, don't be fucking with shit. Yo ass, come back, nigga. I'm telling you, nigga, see you. And you hope he don't see you, right? But nigga, don't see you because you didn't fuck with a spider in your last life, nigga. Nigga, what? Now, if you had good karma, the energy gonna make a motherfucker walk right past you. Nigga, don't even see nigga. But see, you was fucking with spiders. 
You see what I'm saying? So now you can call like this, Nick Keith. You with? Yeah, babe. Take trash out. Spider on the wall. No, nigga, I was looking at the shoe after they. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You fucking around with people and shit. So I told y'all, listen, you can deport a soul. You can, you can, you can, you can deport a soul. I'm just trying to say. So every if and look, spiders, all animals, they animate life. Now we laughing, but I'm just. I hope you getting the message though. You see what I'm saying? Is you getting the message though? You see what I'm saying? It's a message behind this shit, and I just be out there laughing now, y'all, because you know I'm gay. Infotainment. We could be whatever we want to be, but it's just staying with the message. You see what I'm saying? We still on TMI the internals, and I'm just y'all know me. I'm gonna break off and act some shit completely out. That's just who I am. You feel? But you know what I'm saying? Like for real. So notice fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties. That connection was severed to nature like that, knowing that type of shit of how life and essence it flows. It's a universal thing. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So we getting back to Tiamat. We getting back to, and it starts with those memories, you know, those those little connections like that. You know what I'm saying? We getting back to Tiamat. You feel me? So like, hold on, let's get back. Yeah, there we go. So yeah. More than 5,000 motherfucking worlds. And this is the University of Cosmic Intelligence. All right. And then not even potentially, it's definitely trillions of worlds out there. If you just listen to what I'm saying, there are, it's multiple multiverses, but just in this multiverse to stay focused, just stay in here. With one multiverse here, this one multiverse has nine universes. Each universe has 999 galaxies, man. You only know about 12 in this universe. 13 if you include the Milky Way. It's another 986 motherfucking galaxies out there that you don't even know about. See what I'm saying? And that's just in this universe. Now, each one of these galaxies has 999 planets. See what I'm saying? So when they telling you about the Milky Way, you feel me? This is the Milky Way we in, this galaxy. Y'all with me? You feel me? The Milky Way, this galaxy. It's a lot of planets. Each planet got nine realms. Neen thing, you hear me? Neen thing. Each planet, nine realms, man. That's way more than a billion. That's more than a billion worlds right there. You do the math on it and break down everything what I just said. You do the math. And you let me know what the number come back and say on you. You probably can't even calculate it because the number too big. Calculate it ain't fucking with you. So in Eternals, when they froze Tiamat, When they froze Tiamat, that was a powerful scene, man. Y'all feel me? Drop the nines if y'all feel me out there. But I know we in here laughing, we kicking it. That's what I love about the university. We go laugh and kick it. That's us. Feel me? But drop the nines. Is y'all getting the message, though? You feel me? I need y'all to feel me. 
I'm not just saying you feel me, you feel me, you feel me, you feel me, you feel me to just say it. I need you to understand this whole concept of what they was presenting in eternal. And that all connects with CNN trying to come out and talk about more than 5,000 worlds exist. So now you need to start really, if you wasn't taking this serious, you definitely need to now. When we talking about this energy rising, that's a that's a that's a real thing. Like they literally showed you this in this movie. And if you ain't seen tunnels, go watch it. Gilgamesh was the name of, 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 of one of our ancient ancestors who was it when he was in his giant phase. Notice how in the movie, out of all the Eternals that died, none of them died really except for Gilgamesh. Did y'all peep that? Ain't none of these Eternals died except for Gilgamesh. And Gilgamesh is the name of an ancient giant. Ain't none of them died but him. That represents them saying how they killed us out from us being in that state. It was a bunch of hidden messages that they put in this movie, man. A bunch of them. This is why I say we got to get back connecting with our ancestors, connecting with the cosmos because this is where we come from. This is where we come from. This is who we are. This is who we are. We, it was only a matter of time before we get back to us anyway. This is like, honestly, you really haven't seen nothing yet. If you think you, you see something now with, with things, you see shit shutting down and things coming down of that nature. But at the same time, You really haven't seen anything yet. You looking at, you still looking, we still in the beginning stages of, of us rising. You know what I'm saying? That blue flame has yet to hit the crown chakra of us as a collective. You know, like that's, 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 that's what you got to know. We going through an evolution process right now. This is evolution. We're evolving. We becoming something greater than we was before that they, they did what they did because it's it's meant to go this way. This all this is all this is written. All this was written. And nothing is gonna stop us from rising. Nothing's gonna stop the message from spreading. Nothing gonna stop us from connecting back to nature like the way we supposed to. Y'all got to go out into nature. Y'all got to go out to connect. Even if it's not just number going out to your backyard. Go out and connect every day. Do these three meditations every day because as you see, the energy is coming back onto the planet. That prime, I'm talking about that primordial energy. This before before it was scribes, before it was books. The primordial energy. That's the energy that's back on the planet. That's the energy that's back on the planet. It's imperative that we understand that deeply though. And in the movie, we represent the Celestials. <laughs> and what was the Celestials doing, y'all? They were programming entire planets. They were creating suns. Suns. 
for other universes and other planets. They were, so what was they doing? They were the architects of the cosmos. If they're building planets, what does that tell you? Architect of the cosmos. Did you see the way the ship looked that the Eternals was riding on? Did you see the ship? Did y'all peep the ship? Do y'all know that those are actual ships that they belong to a certain beings from a certain planet? The ships that they showed you in the Eternals that the Eternals rode on? That they arrived on? They arrived on the planet on? Yes. Trust me. Those ships that they showed, those are actual ships. Those ships belong to a group of beings called the Syrians. Okay. The Syrians are not located in the Sirius star system. A lot of the, these Syrians come from Orion. These Syrians come from a planet called Orion, and that's exactly the type of ships they have. And it was certain Syrians that did aid and assist the Pleiadians in doing what they did. It was some Syrians that helped the Pleiadians, the Pleiadians when they hide, when they helped the human beings by hijacking the ships from Egypt. Egypt is a planet. The original Egypt is a planet. I repeat, Egypt is a planet, not a fucking country. The Egypt here that they call Egypt, that's named after the planet. I mean, even if you go back in certain texts, it's people that tell you the ancient Egypt of old that was talked about is over here in America with three Ks. That's a fact, but it was never really called even ancient Egypt. Like that's a word we use because it's been used out there to describe a certain group of beings, which is like the Egyptians. But that we never really called the the planet, even when we were even as we was following the frequency, we never really called it like that moment and period in ancient Egypt when things was going on that you hear about in the text that happened over here in America with three Ks. That's true. That's true. All the things that was happening in ancient Egypt was happening right here in America with three Ks. That's a fact. The Mississippi River and the Nile River is the same. All oh, that's a fact. But I'm going to do a lecture on Africa. But, and I'll get more into detail with that. But, These these Syrians in the beginning did help the Pleiadians, you know, and they and it was certain Syrians, not all. But like I say, it's, it's duality on everywhere, as above, so below. So just like here, you got all black people not bad, right? All Latino people not bad, right? These are just the names and titles they call us. Of course, we know our real names. They're just you know the grad people that's just coming in and might not know that we gods and goddesses, right? They still need to know who I'm talking about. So, okay. You got black people that's bad. You got black people that's good. You got Latinos that's bad. Latinos that's good. White people, versa, versa, all around Asians, right? You got that in everything, duality. As above, so below. So it's the same thing in the cosmos. You got to understand that first and foremost. It's not too much shit that's happening here. It's not happening in the cosmos from an energy perspective. Families disagree in the cosmos on other planets. Motherfuckers fight. People go to war. People get into it. It's disagreements. Now, we're more, on a, we're more unified in the cosmos. It's not as... It's not as like perverted as it is here. Like on this planet, the energy is just fucking perverted to the point where like it's a different type of disrespect that, that goes on. Like the way the beings on this planet handle each other because of like whole lockdown. So even even down to the way I've handled my avatar particular times in my life when I was trying to remember who I was, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and my younger states in, in this physical avatar, we are a lot more 
we are a lot more hopes from our essence because of the light cold lockdown from our oppressors, just by a lot of us not even knowing that we have oppressors. Um, see, on other planets, when we when, when war took place, the, we always knew that it was oppressors. So the, 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 that's why a lot of extraterrestrial races don't mind helping this planet because they understand that there's a lot of beings on this planet that just do not know that they are being oppressed. They do not know the history, so they really never had an actual um, chance to 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 really like even get on their journey, like because this planet was hijacked. So by being hijacked, like they doing some, they was doing something completely different scientifically to the beings on this planet that really goes against the laws of, of the cosmos, like. You know, like you don't affect nobody's sovereignty like the way they have. And that's what put them in cosmic violation and spiritual violation because the, the beings that have been running this planet who hijacked it and landed here, they literally completely eradicated the sovereignty of all the beings on this planet. So it's a lot different. It's a lot different here. But uh, in the cosmos, it still is above so below, you know, like for the most part. It's just not as perverted. It's just not as perverted, you know, but um, you got to just, you know, you got to understand that, that it was, like I say, when the, when the Pleiadians, the Pleiadians were the ones who came to the human beings when they were on planet Egypt. The human beings were stuck on planet Egypt because they had been sent there by Zeus because they turned on Zeus. So when the human beings turned on Zeus and went to war with Zeus and the orcs on planet Nern, then once they finally got back in control and 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 got the humans in control, they rounded them all up and they sent them to planet Egypt. So on planet Egypt, that's where the Pleiadians first made contact with the human beings. And then that's when you had certain fallen gods who left planet Nern and went to Egypt with the Pleiadians posing as alpha draconian reptilians agreeing to help the human beings get off Egypt. And as long as the human beings would, would help when they got to this planet. You know, so which those 13 families did that. They helped. When they got to this planet, they helped the Pleiadians and reptilians take over this planet. That's why those 13 families will always be good with the Pleiades and reptilians, but they can't fuck with the rest of the human beings or us. So that's why the 13 families, they don't, I don't think the 13 families don't want to fuck with the human beings. I know they don't want to fuck with us at all, but like the Rothschilds, Bill Burger groups, Illuminati, like all these big names, all these big families and shit like that, that people want to put titles on and shit or Rothschild, Bill Burger groups, Rockefellers, they own it, own it, own, you know, uh, I mean, a lot of them probably will fuck with the human beings, but they got a covenant with the reptilians and the Pleiadians. And they not that strong. You know what I'm saying? They not they strong, but they not they not strong as us. And they definitely not stronger than the reptilians and the Pleiadians. So it's like, you know, they forced to they forced to play their role. So that's why the, the, the that's why the 13 families don't fuck with y'all human beings. That's why they treat y'all like they treat us. Like, like, you know, that's why they treat uh not for real though. That's why they treat y'all like that. Like they they make white people in America think they really got privilege, but they really don't know. It's just like a little more than black people, right? So it's not really too much of a difference. They'll still take your job. They'll still make you pay taxes on money. They'll still make you. I mean, look, black people and Latino people are not supposed to pay pay taxes. The guys and God is not supposed to pay taxes, definitely because it's our land. But human beings shouldn't pay taxes neither, just because the people that stole the land, which is your people, they don't pay taxes. So. So they basically fucked both of us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, really, that's all that, that really happened. It, it, just being honest, you know, just keeping it real up rich. Like, human beings shouldn't pay taxes strictly because they y'all people, shit. I mean, they took the shit from us, so they should be fucking with y'all, but they don't. And we shouldn't pay taxes because it's our land. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that, so. But, understand that because it's these 5,000 worlds, billion worlds, if you don't want to believe me when I've been saying it, that this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the cosmic history in here, right? When I make lectures about the troll and shit like that, I only make them type of lectures to point out what's going on by the elites who are trying to, by the oppressors who are trying to stop this information from getting out there. That's what them lectures get made for, or even when they fuck with me. I gotta let y'all know about that, you know what I'm saying? Because what we're talking about is dangerous. The information that we're sitting there talking about, I'm talking about this with y'all, 
And this is ain't like a private class. The shit I'm telling y'all is real and it's it's deep. And we say this in front of thousands of people. We don't know who the other is. 4,000 people on live. We don't know who all of them are watching live. You know what I'm saying? But them the risks I take because I understand it's a cosmic war. You know what I'm saying? I understand that they got power, but they don't have more power than the ancestors or the cosmic forces that sent, sent me. You know what I'm saying? Or sent us down here to do what we're supposed to do. So it's just about everybody understanding this war. And in a lot of these movies, they, they just document the war and sell it back to you as a movie. You know what I'm saying? You got to know to know when they make an eternal, that shit is about us. We the celestials that was turned on and, 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 and one of our other brothers was frozen. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when I told you they did that with ocean, I say, I say, that's why I don't even like to say the ocean because the real ocean is about a Bermuda Triangle. I did a lecture on that. That's the real ocean. That's one of our ancestors. He's a part of the liquid families, the aquatic family. So he's a liquid, he's liquid based. That's when our ancestors, they got them trapped down in the Bermuda Triangle with the pyramid, one of our ancient pyramids, right? But at the same time, that's also why can't no ships or nothing go through the Bermuda Triangle. You see what I'm saying? Because they be fucking them up. But outside of that, the other bodies of water that you see, those are not oceans. Those are seas. You know what I'm saying? Those are seas. We never had oceans. Ocean is the name of one of our ancestors. We had seas and we have seas and we have like rivers. You know what I'm saying? But most of the rivers got made during the war. We never really had rivers running through the land before the war. Before the war, it was land, and then around us, we had seas. No oceans. You know what I'm saying? Seas was the name of it. You know, that's where you get them saying from like 10,000 leagues under the sea. You know, even if you look at Bible scrolls, they don't say ocean. They always talk about the sea. Moses parted what? Moses parted the Red Sea, motherfucker. They didn't say Moses parted the ocean, nigga. Because like anciently that ain't that never existed. You gotta understand that 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 when you're looking at that body of water of what they call the Bermuda Triangle from fucking really Florida, from the Florida Keys all the way over to Cuba, all the way down to all of that, you're looking really at our one of our ancestors who who who's being shackled down against his will. That's a real thing. Like Atlas is a real thing. Atlas is a real is a real titan. These are titans, these are real beings. Atlas, when they show you the, the, the God holding the globe on his back in Greek mythology, that's real. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really going on. Like, like that's real. Like Greek mythology put so much, so much information out there for you about our about the 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 the, the, the planet, like the history of the planet. And this was still like like when they first got here though. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to know about how the world looked when they first got here, go read Greek mythology. That's exactly what the fuck we was doing plus some, though. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to understand the first scribes sat down with us. Like, when you talk about Plato and Nostradamus, and you talk about Galileo, and you talking about Aristotle, and you get to talking about all these great Greek philosophers, like, miss me with all that. Who you think them niggas sat down with? Who you think Aristotle sat down with? Who you think Galileo sat down with? Nostradamus sat down with? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, who you think they sat down with? You know what I'm saying? Socrates. Who you think they sat down with? You know what I'm saying? But they don't sit here and present this shit, you know what I'm saying, like like they discovered or created any form of philosophy. You ain't create shit. You sat down with us. You feel me? You had to sit down with the gods and document and scribe and scribe it because you couldn't describe it. That's where the word describe come from. You see what I'm saying? They had to describe it. They had to literally describe. So anytime you put a D in front of something, you're taking from it. Right. The shit we was doing was so otherworldly. They can't, they didn't know nothing about it. Like they just come here from a cave state. You know what I'm saying? Because when they was living with Zeus, Zeus was Satan, was treating them like shit. That's what I'm trying to say. We we the gods, the good gods, because Satan was the bad god. The bad god created the human being race. We the good gods. When they come back to this planet, we the good gods who still reverse engineered the shit. So that's why today, human beings, y'all can walk around and look like us. Y'all can stand up right. You see what I'm saying? Y'all can stand up right like this. Y'all can put hands up. You got two arms, two legs. You can stretch. You ain't got no tail. You ain't got fur all over you no more. None of that shit. You can articulate a sentence. You see what I'm saying? We gave y'all the alphabets for y'all, not for y'all to rewrite that shit back to us. You get what I'm saying? We gave them to y'all. You see what I'm saying? That's how that shit went. Like, we ain't the ones that fucked y'all up. Satan did that. That's what Zeus did. That was his, that was y'all cool work. He was he the mad scientist. You see what I'm saying? We the good scientists that, that, that helped y'all get to the state. 
And then once they got to that state, you know, y'all turned on us. That's really how that went. That's why I be feeling away deep down inside because I remember it. You know what I'm saying? I remember it. So I could see it. You know what I'm saying? I I know it. I was there. I remember it vividly. You see what I'm saying? So it be personal because I see it. And I'm just reminding y'all, but I see it though. You see what I'm saying? I watched that shit in my in my memory bank like a movie. Because I'm, I'm already going into the Akashi Records within self anyway when I'm telling y'all what I'm telling y'all at a state in that point. You feel me? So you got to understand, like, that this is this, this the shit that, that that took place. So they had to describe it. You see what I'm saying? They described us. You feel what I'm saying? They was already describing us down. And then when they wanted to enslave us with education, they had to describe it. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So everything that they describe to you, they be lying to you about because they taken away from what they really watering it down. That's why it's called describing because scribing is writing it down. So what the fuck is we doing? We describe it. See, nobody never thinks like that. Nobody don't think like that. You see what I'm saying? We already scribing it when we writing it. So clearly describe doesn't mean to what we think it means. You see what I'm saying? When you describing it, you you really what the way we would the way we do it because we think that's what it means. We like breaking it down. We be like describe means to break it down. But no, when they describing it, they literally breaking it down. They gonna break it down and take away from it and water it down and give it to you and describe it to you. See what I'm saying? When they give you when they, everything they taught you in your history books was described to you. See what I'm saying? They described it to you. Yes, they did. How do you know about Abraham Lincoln and what he did with the Emancipation Proclamation allegedly? What you know? You know. His character, how he was described. You see what I'm saying? When they talk to you about slavery in our history, they describe a moment in time to you. So keep in mind, time ain't real, and they're describing a moment in time to you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That you can really see what they're doing to you. Time ain't even real, but they like to, but they love to describe. Keyword: describe about moments in time that doesn't exist to you. And your kids, and me, and my kids, and our mamas, and her mama, which would be your grandmama, and her mama, which would be your great grandmama, and her mama's mama's mama's, which would be your sixth generation grandmama, boy. You see what I'm saying? This is the result of what they have done to us. You see what I'm saying? They describe shit. To us and we believe it because they gave us a description you see what i'm saying they gave us a description you feel me and you believe that description that's why you believe you was just in africa with baskets of fruits on your head right now you make it thought boy nigga. 10 years ago boy you couldn't tell nobody black they wasn't from africa and you couldn't tell them that they would start off like this I think you ain't from Africa either. What you talking about? Man, let's go back to Africa. For what? Nigga, we not off Africa. Shout out to the guys and brothers and sisters that we got in Africa. But nigga, they was on that part of the land. And we was on this part of the land. And we was all on different parts of the land. We wasn't just all on, in Africa, nigga. That would be a lie. Nigga, it was the part of the land that they like to call Africa. Use it anyway. Because that wasn't even the name of it. Afri Scipio Africanus. That's a European. We know that. So, but the part of the land that they like to describe, here we go, with these descriptions again, the part of the land that they like to describe as Africa to us, they try to make us believe that we just all bundled in that one little spot. Niggas just, we all in that one little spot. Nigga, all this land, you think we was just all in that one little spot they call Africa? You see? 
Okay, well, what the fuck else was going on? So we was all right there, stuff smudging up, smothered the a billion niggas tribe together in Africa. Then what the fuck was going on everywhere else? Well, it was just jungle. It was just, it was just, it was just jungle, huh? No, no, we were everywhere. We were on every part of the land. This is our land. We everywhere, nigga. We was everywhere, nigga. We went just don't try to limit us, nigga. No motherfucking Africa, nigga. We was everywhere, nigga. They, they want to limit. They want to want to lock you in because they know you. We know we the shit. They want to, you know, they want to slim Jim us in. They want to eat, eat, eat. y'all. Sque- y'all go ahead, squeeze in there. You see, they described the section of the land for us. Gave us that little box called Africa that they want to smush us in there. Y'all all came from right there. Yep, yep, yep. Y'all was all right there. And uh, nigga, <laughs> y'all was all right there, nigga. Like. Don't try to slim jim us into no wanna, you know what I'm saying? Just wanna put everybody in that one little box. Y'all was all in that one little part of the land. Boy, all this land out here, you gonna try, who you think you playing with out there, man? You know what I'm saying? All this land, and you want us to believe we was just all right there. Yeah, y'all was all right. Everybody started life. Civilization itself started in Africa. Because that's, that's what they want to say. That's they learned civilization itself started. And then they want to hit you with the narrator, right? With the deep voice. Civilization itself started in Africa. They go pay a good buck. They go spend a nice buck to find somebody with the right baritone. So when he speak, he got that deep, he got that that James Earl Jones thing going on. So you'd be like, man, you know what? You know what? He can't be lying. The voice sounds too believable. You know what I'm saying? Civilization itself. So go any go watch any history channel. Scientists believes civilization itself started in Africa. We found bones that were pre. <laughs> then they want to hit you with the predated. We found bones that were predated back to ten million years ago, seventy three fifty seven B C E. You'll be like, where do y'all get these time? Let us see the BCE timeline. We never seen it. The names just get thrown all around like you got a nigga thinking that y'all been here forever. Nigga, y'all just got here. You know what I'm saying? 72 BCE. They be like, what BCE mean? Before Christ entered. You be like, okay, damn that. They be like, before Christ entered. <laughs> Shit. This is 7253 BCE, nigga, nigga, nigga. Before Christ. So you automatically in your max, you be like, Christ is real because they already trained you. They got you ready with religion. They didn't. Got up on you with religion and got you nice and greasy. What y'all? You know what I'm saying? So you are, uh, yeah, um, they didn't, they didn't whip side your ass all your life with religion. What y'all you? Ooh. Yeah, um, Christ is real. So 7052 BCE, that mean that gotta be a long time ago. Shit, the niggas was here. The Moses, the Moses gotta be old because they said seven, they said BCE, girl. Yeah, girl, they said BCE, not BC. Because they got BC too. That's before Christ, bitch. They said BCE before Christ entered, bitch. This was a long time ago. Like, nah, these niggas is lying to you. They're lying to you. They just got here. CNN, can y'all help me out, please? CNN. Y'all did it. I mean, it took a while, but y'all kind of helped me today. You know what I'm saying? Can, can we please? Can y'all let them know? The jig is up. The jig. I've already, they are already ready. At this point, hey, if you're gonna let them know that, roll the whole script out. Fuck it. Shoot, shoot your shot. I, shoot. I know you don't want the truth. Fuck it. I'll just hey, fuck it. At this point, man. We had our run. Y'all had y'all run. The jig is up. Hey, y'all had y'all a nice little 550 year fake man made your run. Take enjoy that. It's over with. You feel me? Just Hey, look, y'all, we wasn't here that long. We was we was taking these type of pictures. Y'all thought the Kodak just got here in 93, but we been had them. We was really doop, 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 hitting y'all with the whoop. You know what I'm saying? So y'all thought we been here, you know what I'm saying, whole time. It's cool, you know, because I really want them to just come out like that, y'all. I, I'll be, I, that'll be the day for me. I'm like, oh, shit, that nigga ain't got it. Ain't made this shit easy. Now, what y'all want to learn about? Shit, we can talk about all type of shit. Now niggas don't really believe all that shit. Okay, well, look, shit. We ready now. So look, the Mer- now we can talk about the Mercurian. So look, on Mercury, you know, it'd be different because I'll be talking sometimes. I'll be like, geez, they with me. They probably think I'm on some high shit. 
Then I be smoking. So I'm like, do do they say with me or they think I'm just getting high and saying some shit? You know how nigga be like, he probably just be feeling good. Now I'm no nigga, this shit is real. Weed or not, nigga, it's, you gonna get the same, you gonna get the same sauce. Nigga, this is weed. This ain't cocaine. This ain't X, nigga. This ain't no ass. Nigga, this is weed. If anything is gonna only enhance what the fuck I was gonna tell you. It ain't gonna dehance anything. You feel me? Like, that's all that's gonna do. You feel me? That's all it's gonna do. You feel me? Like, that's a real life thing. So when we talk about the land and the planet and all of these things, this is why in that movie Eternals, they are able to put that in front of you like that and just glow, gloat around you. Just gloat all around you with it. And you and you and you don't really know if it's real. You know, you could just sit there and watch it like that. That shit, that shit, that movie was good. Fuck good. Get the drawing. Let me show you how cold they is. Let me show y'all how cold these bitches is, though. This is how cold. Let me show y'all how cold they is. No lie, let me show y'all how cold they is. They cold with it. Look, y'all. Let me show y'all this. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm come, come zoom in on it for y'all. This how the movie come on, though, y'all. So you already should know this shit real. When you see, look, when you see movies coming on with these little, when you see movies coming on with these little, these little shit like this, this one you should know is real, all right? When they come like this, a, a so-called science fiction movie hits you with one of these, when a sci-fi movie hits you with one of these, you better know. You better know, like, they ain't just throwing it in there because they could have turned that in the movie. No, nah, they, they showing you like this for a reason. So look, look what it say. In the beginning, before the six, ooh. Now look, when you talk about the singularities, those are even ancient, ancient beings. You see what I'm saying? Not you going back, like back, back, back. So they even threw the singularities in there, knowing that niggas never heard of them at all. Even celestials, right? Check it out though. Before the six singularities and the dawn of creation. Who you think was... Where y'all think they got this book? Listen, man. Do y'all know? Let me tell y'all something. Before I finish reading it. Where you think they got that from? Remember I told y'all they be having our ancient, some of our ancient books? They got some of our ancient shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it they don't know how to apply, but they got, they got a lot of our shit. You feel me? I told y'all that, right? Yeah, say what's up to the, to the chalkboard right there. Divine essence, where it all started. You hear me? Non-ether shit. Yeah. In case you got negative energy on this live right now, ooh, ooh, catch all that. Spew it back at them. I say, you hear me? Any negative energy on the live? But look, right? They come on talking about the six singularities. You hear me? They talking about before the dawn of creation. Nigga. They got that out of one of our books. These books I'm telling you about, they got under the Vatican, man. That's, nigga, they, don't, they ain't making up shit. Boy, they ain't that creative. You think they're that creative? No, they ain't that creative, man. You got to understand that, boy. That's an actual text. This is an actual text you're looking at out of a book. Look, though. In the beginning, before the six singularities and the dawn of creation came the celestials. Ereshim, the prime celestial, created the first sun and brought light into the universe. Life began and thrived. All was in balance until an unnatural species of predator emerged from deep space to feed on intelligent life. They were known as the deviants. The universe was plunged into chaos. All right. To restore the natural order, Erashim sent Eternals. Okay. 
So check this out. They say the universe was plunged into chaos when the deviants came to feed on intelligent life. All right, pay attention. To restore the natural order, Erashim sent the Eternals, immortal heroes from the planet Olympia, which is an actual fucking planet. The Olympians are actual gods from the planet Olympia, which is in a whole different universe. Olympia is in the first universe. But Olympia is an actual planet, y'all, and it's located in the first universe. Let me let y'all know where it's at. Olympia is an actual planet, and it's located in the first universe, in this multiverse, okay? I'm going to say that again. Olympia is an actual planet and it's located in a we in the ninth universe. Remember, and our home planet is in the 19th galaxy in this ninth universe. Okay, we in the ninth universe, we in the ninth galaxy in the ninth universe, but our home planet is located in the 19th galaxy in the ninth universe. Now, this is one of the last planets that was ever created. Earth, we created this last to be a replica of Xylanthia, right. So it's really like the 999th planet ever created, but that's a whole nother question. I'll break that down differently because I don't want to confuse you. But anyway, so Olympia is an actual planet, and I'm letting y'all know where it's located. It's located in the first universe, okay? The Olympians are real beings. In Dragon Ball Z, when they're talking about all the different races on Dragon Ball Z, all them races real. Listen, every race they ever mentioned in the video, even down to Sonic the Hedgehog, y'all, even down to Sonic the Hedgehog, is beings that can do the same thing Sonic the Hedgehog can do, look just like them on a whole nother planet. That's a fact. All of that should be real. All of it. Not some of it. All of it. All right? But check it out. The Olympia, the uh, the uh, Olympians, they in the first universe. Now, it say they are immortal heroes. Let me flip it back around. Immortal heroes from the planet Olympia to eliminate the deviants. Eternals had unyielding faith in Erashim until one mission led by the prime eternal Ajax changed everything. All right. So when I'm no, 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 no. Sonic, Sonic himself, as in Sonic the Hedgehog, as in Sonic the Hedgehog is not real. What the hell? Okay, there you go. Yeah, my bad, y'all. But yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog. As in the actual side of the hedgehog, like the cartoon character. No, nigga, he not real. Whoever just asked, is he the actual? No, the cartoon character is not real. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is his okay, his storyline, Sonic the Hedgehog storyline, his abilities, the way he look, like the way he look like the actual head a, a hedgehog, like it's beings like that on a whole nother planet. That's what I'm saying. So the Sonic the Hedgehog story is about these beings like that. It's on another planet. That's what I'm saying. Not the actual Sonic the fucking Hedgehog himself is real, nigga. Like, no, <laughs> that's a character, but it's based. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You understand me? <laughs> but yeah, um. Man, if you man, if that trip you out, hey, you ain't ready. Shit, if 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 it's if if the fact that it's a a being extraterrestrial race of beings that Sonic the Hedgehog with the script was written about and and can do the same thing Sonic can do, if that freak trips you out, you definitely not ready for for what's out here in the in the multiverse, right? Now. I'm letting you know right now that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. That's little shit. That's. That's little shit, nigga. You, you heard what's what they just finally confirmed to you. Five thousand worlds and potentially billions more. Now, now you, you put that with what I've been telling you. you see what I'm saying? That's little shit. Like nigga, niggas out there shot like that. So you telling me it's a group of beings like, yeah, and if that if that trips you out, you 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 don't need to put these glasses on. You ever seen they live? Don't put these glasses on. You see what I'm saying? Because once you put these glasses on. You gonna see, you gonna see this shit. You hear? You gonna see this shit. You know, people, people did the same thing when I told them about the worlds. I thought the same thing. Feel me?
I'm on some, I ain't gonna lie, some munchy shit right now. You feel me? I'm gonna get off here. It has been an amazing lecture. Hopefully, you finish, hopefully you understand that the internals is about us. Hopefully, he was able to grab that. If not, You'll grab it when it's meant for you to grab it. You feel me? In the meantime, though, y'all know Lele Solar Day just passed. Boy, I had this cheesecake. Watch, come on, I saw Rashad's mom on live. He was eating cheesecake, so he fake woke. You can look at me. I'm in shape. What you talking about? I'm in shape, man. I ain't shape, man. Yes, Even though I ain't been in the gym in a couple months, I'm still in shape, though. Mm, man. Mm, eight round here. Look, though. Check this out. This bitch was good. Look what's left, y'all. I We got it from the Cheesecake Factory, boy. That's, only, that's the only thing left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down to that last little corner, y'all. Hey, you hear me? I'm down to that last little corner. I'm like, ooh, why? You know, you don't want to see it go, but you want to just get at it. But you be like, ah, it's going to be the last bite. <laughs> the last bite. That motherfucker was good, though. I ain't going to lie. Hey, exactly. We are not the body anyway. I ain't gonna lie, that joint was good. You hear me? You know, hey, look, that's how you know. I'm down, <laughs> I'm down to here with it, y'all hear me? I'm down to here with it, reflections, you know what I'm saying? That was that's a cheesecake, y'all, too. That's a cheesecake. That ain't no cake. That's a cheesecake, boy. That's a from the chop from the cheesecake factory. That's a cheesecake. Well, you better know what it is when you see it. Don't get it screwed. That ain't no little regular burger. That's a cheesecake. You know what I'm saying? You better know why it look like that. That's a cheesecake. <laughs> hey, I love cheesecake. I don't know if y'all know that, but yeah, man, Rashad Jamal, I love Joe. That's one of my other things I love about this realm. Certain foods I get to experience, like that cheesecake. Oh, that motherfucker. Everything. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I will see y'all next Sunday. You hear me? I will see y'all. Hey, look, you know when we trying to preserve it, look, why ain't just get rid of it? Look, I'm still... I'm <laughs> I'm still nudging at it, right? Like, <laughs> instead of just taking the whole, hey, instead of just taking the last little piece, you know, we we get the edge of that, like, ah. <laughs> we well, get the edge of that, like, ah. <laughs> hey, hell no, look, no. When I took that last bite, you would've thought it was. Man, I'm trying to tell y'all. Listen, man, do y'all see the in-between? Look at this. Look, you see the in between right there, down there. Well, they did that. Look, peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai. I'll see y'all next Sunday. Now we rise. One. All right. I mean, that was amazing. That was an amazing, amazing um, live stream. And um, I am happy 
then I don't have to take the video down. <laughs> Because I don't have any ill intentions and I am trying to share what I'm learning and things like that. So he's okay with that. And if his feelings change, just hit me up and on my uh, IG or on here and I'll take it down immediately. But um, for the most part, I don't think he minds um, sharing it. And I hope you all enjoy it video and as you can see in the comment section as far as the live I was interacting that was the only person that was um, supporting me at that moment so I'm very grateful and I want to get a shout out to uh, King Joe the chosen one he's been a great supporter and um, that's 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 what's up so he has a channel as well so you know Gotta check him out too. Go over there and check him out. Um, what else? Oh, uh, it was something that I wanted to elaborate on. Like, not elaborate, but comment about. But I forgot. But it was just so many gems being dropped. It's just like, ooh, and overwhelming. But, oh, growing up, I would always tell my family, like, these movies are real and they would just look at me no it's not no it's not especially the scary movies you know these were how they were killing people uh in the underworld and um up here if they can get away with it you know so like you know i'd be the first one sitting in front of the tv folding my legs all up in front of it i'm, I'm more in front of it than anybody else and as soon as the scary movies start having scary parts, I'm the first one jumping to the back. <laughs> so it was just like kind of crazy. And I kept trying to say, yo, that's real. They're like, why are you scared? It's, it's not real. And I'm like, yes, it is. So I'm um, shout outs to uh, Rashad for that. <laughs> I don't no longer feel as weird and crazy. So yeah, so I'm just going to leave on that note. You guys stay safe. Enjoy your week because the week has came and gone so quickly. So I figured the closer the sun gets, the shorter the days will as well. So look out for that. Pay attention to it. You know? But you guys stay safe. Rest well. <laughs>